All right, you guys, it's time for some spring cleaning. Step to the back of your mat, go ahead and pick it up, and just flick it. If it doesn't land perfectly the first time, try it again. We're flicking off the winter time, creating some new space. And then once you set it down, I want you to visualize the seeds you would like to plant this coming spring. Anything that you want to get done, maybe just stepping on your mat more often or actually spring cleaning your house. And when you're ready, bring your hands to your heart, take a little bow, and then stepping onto your mat. Opening feet hip width apart, bend your knees, inhale, reach your hands up through the center of your body. Exhale, push the air down. Bending the knees at the bottom, inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, push the palms down. Really linking the breath to the movement, extending out through the fingers and then dropping the shoulders as you reach the arms out to the side. And again, inhale, reach up. And exhale. Stepping your feet together, we're ready to begin. First practice of spring. Inhale, reach your arms up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Pedaling out the feet, bending one knee as you inhale, bending the other knee as you exhale. Just noticing how the body feels. Quiet the movement, push into the left hand, make a big circle with the right arm going backwards, and then switching directions. Big circle with the right arm going forwards. Push into your right hand, lift up the left, big circle going back, and reversing the direction. Bring both hands down to the mat, downward dog. Walk, step, hop, feet to the hands. Once you're there, inhale, lengthen halfway up, reaching the head front, and then exhale, fold, dropping the head. Inhale, stand up, look at your thumbs. Samastiti, mountain pose. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, gaze front. Chaturanga Dandasana, walking, stepping, hopping. And you can drop your knees as you need. Upward dog on the inhale. Downward dog on the exhale. In your downward facing dog, bring your feet together, your toes and your heels. Slowly breathe in, come up to your tippy toes, and exhale, push the heels down. As you lift your heels up, you'll notice the head wants to lean front. Keep pushing the head and the chest back towards the legs, making a V with your body. Opening the feet back to downward facing dog. You might want to step your feet a little closer in, take your right hand off the ground, grab the left leg, either the calf muscle, ankle, or heel, turn your head to the left. Switching sides, right hand stays, left hand grabs the outer right ankle, turning your head to the right. Try to keep your hips square. Both hands come down, step it back to downward facing dog. Walk, step, hop, feet to the hands. Lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, stand up. Samastiti. One more time. Inhale, palms together. Look at your thumb, stretch it. Exhale, fold, dive down. Inhale, halfway up. Chaturanga Dandasana. Walk, step, hop feet back. Upward dog, lift the chin, shoulders down. Downward dog, chin to chest, push. Right foot to the ceiling, inhale. 
bend your knee, relax your hip open, three-legged down dog. Really working to get that left heel down here. Inhale, straighten the knee, and then exhale, lightly <laughs> step between your hands. High lunge with a twist. Your left hand will stay on the ground, right hand peels open. As you do this, you want to squeeze that right knee in towards the chest. Wrapping the right hand around the back, try to grab onto that left hip crease. Bring the hands down, core plank, knee to nose. Push the foot back up, three-legged down dog. And rest in downward facing dog, switching sides. Inhale, the left leg comes up. Bending the knee, open the hip. Really focus on pushing chest back, right heel down. Inhale, lengthen the knee. Suck the belly in, knee to nose, step between your hands. Twisting lunge, right hand stays, block your floor, right hand up, or left hand up. <laughs> Bend the elbow, wrap the fingers, wiggle, wiggle, try to grab onto the front hip of the right leg. Bring your hands down, core plank, knee to nose, heel towards the butt, push the leg up, inhale, three-legged down dog. And both feet come down, downward facing dog. Inhale, tippy toes, exhale, bend knees, walk, step, hop, feet to hands. Halfway lift once you're there, and then forward fold. Inhale, stand up, reach up, look up. Relax your shoulders, samastiti. Bend your knees. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, twist to the right, hooking the elbow, tricep, shoulder, outside that right knee. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, belly to thighs, straighten the legs. Halfway up, breathe in. Chaturanga Tandasana, breathe out. Upward dog. Downward dog. Inhale, plank. Right hand stays down, left side plank. Reach your left hand up. You can drop your right knee to the mat for support if you need. Pick up your left foot, bend the knee, and with control, step it towards the right hand for warrior two. We just had a full moon, so we're going to hold on to the moon. Flip your palms, hold the moon like reversed warrior. Energy between the palms. Now reach the moon in front of you like side angle pose. Inhale, reverse the warrior. This time, drop that right arm down to the back leg. Straighten the knee for triangle pose, trikonasana. Left hand grabs big toe, left hand on the shin or on the block, looking up towards the right thumb. Bend the left knee. Inhale, reverse the warrior again. And then exhale, moving towards a side angle pose. Beginners, elbows to thigh. Deeper stretch, bring your hand all the way down. Looking up towards the right palm like you're reading a book. Drop the right hand to the floor, walk it off to the side for a wide-legged fold. Turn your toes towards the long edge of your mat. For this one, let's grab onto our ankles, bend the elbows, and try to pull the head between the feet, lifting the sitting bones up. Lengthen halfway, grab your waist, stand up, make an X with your body, little starfish here. I want you to breathe in, lengthen through the fingers, and then breathe out, bend your knees, give yourself a hug, dropping your chin. Inhale, reach, and exhale, squat. It's a little balance challenge. Inhale, reach, and exhale, squat. Make a T with your hands, little ocean wave. Inhale, reach the right hand to the front of the mat. Exhale, bend both knees. 
inhale reach left arm to the back and come up to center once again right arm goes over bend both knees left arm goes back and now keep watching your left fingers for Ardha Chandrasana half moon left hand dives past the foot right toes are flexed touching block floor nothing up to you bending that top knee for sugarcane pose bring the heel towards your bum take your gaze to the ceiling very lightly bend the left knee and step back to warrior two cartwheel the hands right side plank so finishing how you started left hand to the ceiling breathe hips up inhale plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog moving towards the left side I'm just turning around so my butt's not in your face <laughs> come back to plank left side plank left hand stays pick up your right foot and with control step it by your left hand for warrior two flip your palms hold the moon reversed warrior taking that left arm off the back leg will make it harder Hold the moon in front, side ankle pose. Strengthening your core here. Inhale, reverse the warrior, dropping the arm down. Feels good. Straighten the knee for triangle pose. Tipping the hips, grabbing the big toe. As you exhale, you're gonna bend the right knee once again. Scoop the right fingers up, reverse to warrior. Keep the knee bent. Side angle pose. Elbow to thigh. Or on the other side, if you put the palm down, try it again. Palm down. Dropping the left hand to the ground. Pivoting the right toes in for wide-legged fold. This time, hands behind your back. If your head's not touching the ground, shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Keep reaching the arms off the back and then breathe in, stand up. Starfish, inhale. Squat, exhale. As you do your squats, make sure you switch the cross of your elbows. So one elbow goes on top and then the other. Make a T, ocean wave, left hand goes over, exhale, bend your knees, right hand goes over, and again, left arm scoops, bend the knees, right arm scoops, now lots of energy in this hand, half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana, right hand dives front, opening the belly button towards the side, not towards the ground. And then sugar cane, getting a quad stretch, reach back, grab the ankle, pull the knee back and start to look up. Lightly bend, right knee, step back to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down, left side plank, so finishing the flow on this side. Dropping the left knee as needed. Exhale, push up, upward dog, look up, downward dog, push back. Walk, step, hop, feet to the hands, lengthen, forward fold, and bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, palms together, feet and knees together if you can, and Samastiti. Standing balance, left hand on the waist. Bend your right knee and straighten the leg, grabbing the big toe or holding underneath the leg. Breathe, shoulders above hips. Swing the leg out to the right. Take your gaze to the left, making sure you stand tall through the left waist. Back to center, no hands, point your front toes. 
front leg swings back, bend the left knee for humble warrior. Inhale, slide the knuckles down. Exhale, fold, dropping the head towards the left foot. The deeper you bend that front knee, the lower the head will go. Inhale, stand up. Square the hips, lift up that right heel so it's a high lunge. Warrior three, keep the arms behind the back. Lean the head front, reach out through the right toes, lift the thumbs away from your bum. Revolve half moon, right hand to block or floor, big twist now to the left. Moving to low lunge, bring your hands down, step the right foot back, dropping the knee, taking a back bend. You can either keep your fingers down and just look up, or, like what I'm doing, hands to the front thigh, push down into the arms, try to look back. Half split, stack your hips above the right knee, flexing left toes and folding. vinyasa. I know there's a lot of vinyasas. If you're starting to really fatigue in the wrist and shoulders, you can always just go back to downward dog. That's probably where I'm ending up anyway. So feel free to skip if it's too much. Back at the front of the mat, feet to the hands, bend your knees, chair pose, reach up. And samastiti. Bend the left leg, grab your big toe, straighten it. Find your balance. Open the leg to the left side, looking to the right. Come back to center. Both hands on the waist. Point your left toes. Swing it back for humble warrior. Inhale, shoulder blades together. Look up. Exhale, folding, head inside the right foot, arms up and off the back. Inhale, stand up, lift your back heel, warrior three, square the hips and shoulders towards the floor, lift the belly up, revolved half moon, flex the foot, left hand down. Stretching the outer hip and IT band. Low lunge. Left knee comes down to the floor. Unhinge your toes. You can either keep your fingers down or walk up to your thigh. Push the hands into the thigh. Lean the shoulders and the head back and breathe. Let your hips settle down. Half split, flexing the right toes and folding front. Being careful not to hyperextend that front knee. You want to keep a little softness there. Vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, four limbs. Inhale, upward dog, nose up. Exhale, downward dog. Walk, step, hop, feet to the hands. Lengthen halfway up and fold. Bend your knees. Utkatasana, chair pose. Samastiti. (laughs) Now we get to do it all again. I'm sure you're very excited. I am too. Look at my face. Loving it. (laughs) Chair pose. Utkatasana, so from the beginning. Exhale, twist to the right. Now you can either do what we did initially, twist, or take a twisting crow, little arm balance. Inhale, center. So I'm going to give you some options to upgrade if you want to. Maybe place your hands down, balance on your right elbow. (laughs) Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Chaturanga Dandasana, tricep push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Right side plank. Balance on the blade edge of the right foot. Now pick up your left leg. Bend the knee and lightly step front. Warrior two. Flip your palms up. Hold the moon behind you. Reversed warrior. Hold the moon in front of you. Side angle. Drop the right arm. Reversed warrior. Left hand up. Straighten the knee. Trikonasana triangle pose. So really getting into a flow here. Bend the knee. Reversed warrior. Either taking side angle pose like we did initially. Or side angle bound. Binding around the left leg. Or bird of paradise. Step the right foot front. Inhale, pick up left leg. And straighten the knee. Looking away from the foot because it's stinky. Come back down, side angle bound. So we all meet here together. And then releasing the arms to the floor. Walking to the center. Wide legged fold. Now if headstand is in your practice and you're not going to hurt anybody around you, you can take headstand here just for a few breaths to get upside down and have a little fun. Or just wide-legged fold again. Come all the way up. Getting ready for starfish. Toes out, heels in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit. Inhale, reach. Really sinking the hips and pushing the knees out towards the pinkies. Stretching the inner thighs, the hip flexors, and strengthening the glutes. Ocean wave, reach the right hand front, bend your knees, and just do what feels good here. You can make it small, you can make it big, circling the arms. And now look at your left hand, up and over it goes for half moon. Reaching the fingers down, either bending the knee or I'm taking TikTok, dog goes pee. I'm challenging my balance by not touching the ground here. Stepping back to warrior two. This time when you come back to your side plank, try to grab onto that left big toe and pick up the foot. This was me filming after doing this practice in the morning and then teaching body pump, so I was pretty tired by this point. <laughs> It's a great, um, challenging practice. Left side. I didn't bother to switch, so apologies in advance for my butt being in the camera's face here. Left side plank, right foot comes up. Cartwheel to warrior two. Palms up, hold them in behind you, inhale. And then exhale, reach front, side angle. Reverse the warrior, inhale, drop the left hand down, straighten the knee, exhale, triangle pose, holding here for a breath or two. Inhale, reverse the warrior, bending the knee, and taking your option, side angle, or side angle bound, or bird of paradise, stepping the left foot front, lifting the right knee up, and then eventually straightening right leg. Coming back to side angle bound. Stepping left foot back. Moving to our wide legged fold. Again, your option is to interlock your hands behind your back and take the shoulder stretch or fly up to headstand. <laughs> I feel like headstand was the easier option for me at this point get off my legs standing up making an X with our bodies inhale reach all four corners exhale fan the air tuck in the chin inhale push the heels apart exhale sit inhale reach my hair looks crazy exhale sit don't mind that make a T ocean wave left hand up and over breathe in and then exhale let it go right hand up and over one more time left round look at the right hand keep looking keep looking half moon pose dive front 
you'll notice one side's always a little harder. TikTok or sugar cane, whatever you want to work on here, or just half moon balancing. Warrior two. Left side plank, yay, my butt's no longer in your face. Pick up your right foot. I almost fell on this side. I didn't last very long, you'll see. And that's enough of that, <laughs> inhale plank. Exhale chaturanga, inhale upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk, step, hop, feet to the hands. Chair pose. Tipakasana, crow. Hands down, knees in the armpits. Lean front, lift up your feet. Come back to chair pose. Samastiti. Standing balance, pick up the right leg. It's a little different this time, our second go around. Open it to the right, push down through your left big toe. Come back to center, we're gonna take Cosmic Dancer. Hold on to the right foot, bring the heel to your butt, squeeze your knees together. And then kick your toes back and up as you reach the left hand front. Do the best that you can to keep the knee squeezing in and avoid the knee flaring out to the side. Switching sides. Pick up your left knee. Straighten the leg as best you can. Now this woman and her trainer came into the studio. They were so cute. They did one pass and I think they thought I was crazy and they left. I was already so far into the practice, I didn't want to have to start all over. But they didn't, you know, try to stop me or anything, so I just kept going. And then letting go of the cosmic dancer on the left side. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog, look up. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot to the ceiling, inhale. Pigeon pose, right side, exhale. Now those of you that feel you're not doing pigeon correctly, I did just upload a video breaking down pigeon pose. So. Feel free to watch that and get some ideas because pigeon pose is so hard to do and there's many variations and options for you to get a better stretch. So go ahead and, and watch that video and maybe it can help you a little bit. After pigeon pose, swing the left leg front, bend the knee, give it a big hug. Marichasana C. I'm not binding here, but you can totally bind if you want to with the left hand behind your back. And then releasing the left foot back where you just came from. Wild thing. Right toes go up, bend the knee, open the hip. Left hand stays. Reach the right arm up. Look towards the right fingers. Where'd they go? I don't know. Inhale, three-legged down dog. And then step between your hands low lunge. A little bit of a shoulder stretch here. Left hand to the ceiling, right hand grabs the elbow to pull it behind your head. You can stay just like that or go for the bind. Right thumb down, lifting up the chin. Sweep the left hand up again, inhale, twisting now to the right. Just like we did in chair, back knee stays down or tuck your toes, push the left heel back as you lift the knee up. Bring the knee down, around the world. Right hand sweeps, try to grab that foot. And if you're not able to get it just yet, don't even worry about it, keep the foot down, say a prayer, push the left thigh towards the ground. Half split, like we did earlier, but you should be warm by now. Maybe full split, bam. 
And if you're all the way down and you're able to lift up your arms, try to back bend a little bit and then reach towards the right foot. Making sure you're not just sitting to the right leg, but you're in center. Returning to downward facing dog, slide the foot back. Left leg to the ceiling, inhale. Pigeon pose, left knee comes front, sit down. Inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, walk it out. So in the pigeon video where I break it down, the version I'm doing here is a very intense stretch. You can see where my heel is of my left foot, how high up and away from my hips it is. So if you need to lessen the stretch, you want to keep the heel close, tucked in. I explained that in the video, so please, please go watch to make sure that you're getting the best stretch you can possibly get. Swing the right leg to the front, bending the knee, getting ready for the twist. Inhale, reach up with the left arm. Exhale, twist. This is me taking a, a lazy variation. Still hooking the shoulder outside the knee. That little glitch there is because my phone decided it can only record 30 minutes at a time, so I had to do it all over again. It missed about 10 to 15 minutes of me continuing on with the practice. Wild thing, left leg goes up and over. Inhale, reach it. Moving towards low lunge, step the left foot front. This time dropping the right knee down. Tricep stretch, right hand to the ceiling, elbow behind head. And then going for the bind, left hand down, wiggle, wiggle. Releasing the arm, sweep the right hand up again, inhale. Exhale, turn to the left, palms together. Maybe lifting up the back knee, pushing the heel away. Dropping the knee down. Around the world, grabbing the quad. <laughs> grabbing the quad. I like to see you grab the quad. Nope. Grabbing the foot. <laughs> Straighten the front leg. Half Hanumanasana, half split, or full split. Wham, bam. And there's a reason why I have my back toes tucked is to help keep my back legs facing the ground. So my right knee and quad facing down. It's quite difficult to do the split properly. And this is my jam. If anybody watches uh, um, any Miyazaki films, you know what it's from. Returning to Downward Dog. And then come all the way down to your bellies. You can grab one foot, and only one foot, that's okay. Hold on to one. If you can grab two, lift up for bow. Imagine you wanted to straighten your legs, but you're holding on to them, so they can't actually straighten. Lift your head, chest, thighs. Breathe, look up. And then rest on one cheek. Those of you that were grabbing one leg, we're doing it again, so make sure you grab the other leg, so switching legs. Inhale, bow, lift up, 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 up. Try to get your thighs off the ground. And breathe, opening the heart. And slowly release, coming up to child's pose. After a deep back bend, I prefer to do child's pose with my knees together and my hands actually by my feet, palms up. That's totally up to you. <laughs> Next is a very humbling moment. I got too cocky. Um, <laughs> forearm stand. Uh, the farther back you keep your feet, the easier it is. So you want to make it harder, you walk your feet closer to the elbows. And normally in the class I just say, you know, kick up your right foot and hold it like a three-legged down dog, but on your elbows. But here I was trying to come up and balance, but you'll watch. That was the first time I fell down and two more times. I always say, give it three three shots if it doesn't happen don't keep forcing it so here's round two falling down it's, i know why it's because i'm tired i already did a lot this morning and i already did this when my camera stopped recording so this is my you know third time doing it through and then here's the third one so ignore what i'm doing and just kick up your right leg balance put it down and then switch left leg up 
keeping a set of toes on the ground, so really working the shoulders as you push the shoulders away from the hands. Eventually, come back to dolphin, elbows down, and if you can, press up to downward dog with both elbows, boom, just like that. Making our way to a seated place, you can drop to your knees or take a little hop through your arms. Dandasana, seated staff, reach your arms up, inhale, and exhale, fold. If you have lower back pain, I recommend you bend your knees here and open up your feet about hip width apart. You're still going to get a great stretch for your hamstrings. Eastern plank. Easier option. Bent knees. It's like a reverse tabletop. If you want more, try it with straight legs. Make sure your fingers are pointing front to the heels. Inhale, kick up your right leg. And then inhale, kick up your left leg. Sit down for Baddha Konasana Butterfly Pose. Feet together, knees apart. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, fold front. Go as far as you can with a flat back. Don't worry about dropping the head all the way to the ground. But if it's easy for you, start to reach your chin towards the floor. Inhale, come out of it. Straddle, your straddle, as wide as you can go. And folding front. Now you'll see I kind of pull my chest forward and back here and straddle to get a deeper stretch. If you're able to do something similar to this, you want to make sure you're bracing your belly as you pull front. So it's supported and you're not just jamming your lower back out because that's not nice. Make a T with your hands. Reach your left hand over the face so you're leaning to the right. Now reach your left hand back, open the chest, turn it to the sky, maybe flexing through the heel of your hand. Bring the arm over and sit up. Other side, left hand goes down. Right arm opens back, turn the head and chest, flex through the hand, the palm, reach over and come back up. Give your knees a big hug. Turn yourself into a little ball, little Easter egg, Easter's coming. <laughs> Tuck your chin, rock back, inhale, little squat, again, rock back, and if you can't come up with no hands, hands down, Ugh, push, 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 lean up and over, hands in front, and again, rocking back, and then trying to dip the knees down, keeping the toes tucked. So here we're getting a little massage for our back. We're working flexibility of the hip crease, the knee, the ankle, and the toes. If that's comfortable, try it with no hands. It's actually really fun. It's a great mobility exercise. And staying in your toe squat, reverse prayer hands, palms together with the fingers pointing up on your spine. If that's not accessible, you can just grab opposite elbows behind your back. And if you're not comfortable at all sitting on your toes like this, keep your hands in front of your knees for support. I was just taking a little neck stretch, side to side. Now to counter stretch, sit down, point your toes, deepen by hands going back, or lift up your knees, reach your hands towards your knees. Go ahead and sit down, Navasana boat. Start with your knees bent, 90 degrees for this one. Keeping the angle of your knee, dip your right toes down, almost touching, left toes. Now pick up the right knee, pick up the left knee. Again, left toes down, right toes down, left toes up, and right toes. Option to straighten the legs, it's harder. Right leg down, left, right leg up, and left. One more time. Left foot goes down, hover, hold it, right, left foot comes up, and right, my favorite party boat, tuck your chin, start to lean back, but keep the roundness in the back, you can make it harder by reaching your hands up, up, 
up, suck the belly in, close the ribs, and eventually, when she can't take it anymore, lie all the way down. You have two bridges, or one bridge and one wheel. Lift your hips up for bridge pose. Interlock your fingers, lift the right knee. Step it down. Lift the left knee. Step it down very lightly. Lift the right knee. Straighten the leg, toes up. Bend the right knee and place the toes down. Left knee to chest, left toes to ceiling. Left knee to chest and step it down. Inhale, hips up and exhale, slowly come down. You can do it again in bridge. I'm going to demo in wheel. Crown of the head down and then push into the hands. Right knee to chest and step it down. Left knee to chest and step it down. Right knee to chest, toes to ceiling, knee to chest, and release. Left, toes up, left knee, and toes down. Inhale, hips up, and exhale, come all the way down. Give your knees a big old squeeze, relax your back. You can see my face is getting red from being upside down. Shoulder stand or waterfall with your back down. Straighten your legs above your hips. Breathe easy in and out through the nose. Lasana plow, reach the toes to the ground behind your head. If you're on your backs, simply bend your knees in towards your chest. Slowly come down, push your palms into the mat, and then see how close I keep my legs to my body. It's going to help work your core as you come out of the pose. Once your legs are straight down, pull the right knee in towards your chest and take four big circles with the ankle going one way and then four big circles going the other way, really flexing and pointing using the toes, full range of motion. Bring your nose up to the knee, drop the head and shoulders, twist, bring the leg across the body to the left and look to the right. Shoulders are on the mat, good release for the back. Give it one last little squeeze and switching sides. Bend the left knee, ankle circles. And go in the other way. Nose towards the knee. And twisting the leg across the body. center, give it one last little tug, and let it go. Happy baby, bend your knees, rock side to side, and you can play with your happy baby. Like right now, I have my whole spine down, and then I wiggle, 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 start to peel the tushy up, whatever feels right for you. Before we finish class, 
let's shake it out. Let's shake out the winter, let's shake out the past. Starting with our legs. Take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now lift your legs up as you inhale. And then exhale, you're gonna go ah and shake your legs. This is really fun to watch when you have a bunch of students doing it together. Go as long as you can, just exhaling ah and then drop the legs down when you're done. Breathe, don't move. Now cross your arms over your chest, take a breath in and out through the mouth. We're gonna shake the arms out. Lift the arms up, take an inhale. Now shake your arms, exhale. Ah. <laughs> it looks crazy when I'm just by myself, but it feels really, really good on the joints. We used to do this in college in my modern dance class with Jim Lepore. Shout out to you, Jim. I always love to shake out. And once you're done exhaling, just let the arms drop down. The final one is the arms and legs together like a little dead bug. After you notice the body, notice the breathing, bend your knees, cross the arms on the chest, take a slow breath in, and exhale out of the mouth. Lift your arms and legs, inhale, and then shake, 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 uh, as long as you can go, relaxing the feet, the wrists, let all the joints be free here, let all the muscle and skin and everything just jiggle, 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 and then the arms and legs will fall down when you're done. And it's a wonderful way to end your practice, because look, you're already in Shavasana. Just breathe. Notice the sensations in your feet, in your fingers. How quickly or slowly you're breathing, your heart rate, body temperature. Allowing all the fluids within your body to quiet, to become still. Welcome to stay here or bend your knees into your chest, rolling over to your side and then coming up to a seated place. Hands together in front of the heart, visualizing the seeds that you planted in the beginning. All the goals that you have for this spring. Until next time, everybody. Namaste. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this spring flow. Until next time.